Okay, so this, this is Ray, our solar pin compactor. Uh, there's a lot of good features about Ray compared to other bins on the market and just as a standard bin in itself. One of the, the big key points on this bin is that it's very robust and very strong. So you can tell by how heavy the unit is and the, the pre mill sheet that it's made out of that it's going to really stand up to any abuse or weather and sort of environmental conditions that are going to be thrown at it. It's got a stainless steel hatch which is very robust and you know, closes on the soft close mechanism so it's got a gas strut behind there that makes sure it closes and there's a foot pedal down the bottom. One of the great things about that is if you're in a residential area and there's buildings or houses near you, it's not going to be keeping people awake at night when it's going bang, 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 closing at night. So it's also a foot pedal so of course it's touch free, people don't like touching bins these days. So being able to do that touch free encourages people to actually engage and use the bin. Uh, something that's unique about Ray is that the foot pedal is actually recessed behind the front of the unit. So because of the, the contour front shape, the foot pedal doesn't stick out. That means anyone walking past, it's not a tripping hazard. So no one's going to scuff, scuff the shoes on it or trip over it. Anyone going past in a wheelchair has got free access to get all the way up right up close to the bin and engage with it. Uh, also on the front of the bin we have our ashtray which is an upgraded option and it's in, in the door so it's fully self-contained and it's not hanging off the side of the unit. You see a lot of bins out there where you have a great big ashtray hanging on the side of the bin which again becomes an interference to people walking past and they can get a bit smelly and gross. So this has got the butt plate all built in and we can also provide a butt plate for the top of the unit because uh, we know people like to cigarette this out on the top of, top of bins. Uh, it's also keyless entry. Keyless entry is one of the big features of this bin. What we find in a lot of bins around the place is that anywhere where there's a handle and a key lock is an invitation for people to put sharps, bubble gum, chip packets, and they want just to be regular planes in the arse. Uh, it's also a hazard for when the cleaner, for when the cleaner or the garbos come along, they've then got to clean that out with gloves on, make sure it's safe to open. Hopefully the key mechanism still works and they can get the key in to unlock the bin. What we have is a RFID card. There's a little hidden button in over here. So I push the card on here and I push the button and then it automatically unlocks and the bin opens up. So inside here we have the stainless steel components. This is the ashtray, so the ashtray comes out empties into the bin, empties into whatever they want to empty it into and go straight back. Now, a little bit more about that ashtray is it's fully contained behind the lid of the bin when the door's closed. And it's the only opening into this bin is through the hole in the front of the door. So there's no option that, or opportunity to for a fire to start and catch inside the bin. So that's a nice little safety feature and of course it's a standard 20 litre bin. Also seems to be available in a 240 litre bin. So now the important bit, which is what everyone's waiting for, is the compaction mechanism. The compaction mechanism is a stainless steel press plate which pushes down and that enables you to get your 7 to 1 compaction in your bin. But 7 times less pickups, 7 times less staff operating movements and a whole lot more know-how about what you're actually achieving. So in behind here is your battery, it's a standard solar battery which you can buy in Australia or from us and there's the electronic components in here as well and they're not complicated electronics and PCB cards, they're industrial grade electronic components in there and proper industrial grade safety switches which you can source all around Australia as well but it also means they're very reliable, they're not a consumer, a consumer grade uh, proximity switch so they're fully safety rated, they come from the German supplier which, are, which we use on our industrial machines 
on the top of the unit, which is also a little bit unique to the rain, if you have a, a curved cover on the top protecting the solar panel, what that does in your parks and gardens, it stops people using it to put their barbecues on. Believe it or not, that's, that's actually a thing. People will put their barbecues on top of the bins and use that as their, their, their campfire station. So um, it also discourages people from putting drinks and other things on top of there if the bin is full. So just getting back to the, the front of the unit, where, when the door closes, it locks automatically because it's an electronic lock mechanism. We have our light on the front of the unit. This light changes colour. It indicates to the cleaners, the people emptying the bins from a distance, whether the bin needs to be emptied or not. They don't have to get out of the car or truck. They can see if it's flashing green, that it's all okay. Or of course they can look on the app on their phone and see which bins they need to go to in the first place. So it gives them that clear communication. Also built in under here is a speaker, speaker module. We're able to upload information into that speaker module. So every time the hatch opens, it plays a pre-recorded message. So I've seen these positioning out the front of the movie theatre uh, when the Lion King's playing and the bin opens, you hear Simba do a little roar or at, you know, one, a line from a movie. So it really encourages people to engage with the bin and it becomes part of the environment, not just a rubbish bin. So people want to engage with it, you know, it, you know become a part of your waste plan and promotion. Uh, on, on the back of the unit, which if you're getting behind there, is the the, uh, what have we got? the antenna, which is doing your sending and receiving. So it's on the outside of the unit. I assure you it is very robust. It will stand up to abuse. Uh, we've tested it hitting it with hammers. I'm sure if we really wanted to, we could probably damage it, but uh, it's not a concern being on the outside of the unit at all for us. And uh, it assures that you get the best possible reception from uh, the SIM card uh, reception or however we choose to uh, provide the information to and from the unit. Well, with the SIM card in there, we are able to remotely log in and change settings. We are able to remotely lock out the hatch. So because of that electronic lock mechanism, we can program the bin to lock out at certain times of the day, or if it's a once-off event, or if you have a plan for uh, what's the word? A terrorist attack. So if it was in say the city of Melbourne and you had a city plan where you wanted to lock down the bins in the event of a terrorist attack or you had a particular function on where you didn't want anyone to be able to put anything in the bin, we can remotely lock them out so you can't use the bin during that period. Mm. Uh, we, we have seen this in council areas where they've had a festival on, like a music festival. The council don't want their bins being used and filled up during the festival. So they can lock down their bins and then they people at the festival have to use the bins provided by the festival. Uh, we have three hinges on the outside of the unit which are very heavy duty. That ensures that the door is always going to stand up and they're very robust so they're, they're not something you need to worry about. So again the whole unit is made of steel so you, know, you don't have to worry about plastics cracking or deteriorating over time and it's also a galvanised sheet like a Calibon type material, so it's very, very robust and going to, to stand up to everything thrown at it. Uh, looking down further, we have our hot dip galvanised base. That is a very, very robust base and it will stand up to whipper snippers and street sweepers going past it all the time. There's, there's always a high side near these bins where water wants to build up, weeds want to grow. And that's where we often see a lot of damage on, on other bins in the market and rust starting to form, where that's not going to happen with these over a long period of time. Um, if that's not enough for you and you don't think that's a strong enough, robust enough design, and I already think it's the best on the market, we do have two different levels of stainless steel available. So we can do a stainless steel outer, a painted stainless steel outer, or we can do a full marine grade stainless steel outer and inner. So everything is marine grade. You know, you can put it on a 
on a walk down mm. the beach and it'll, it'll stand up for a long time to come. Uh, come stand with these eye bolts in the side. They just unscrew after installation. They just make it very easy for us to get it on and off the truck and into position to bolt it down and install it so there's no chance of damaging the bin getting it on and off the truck on trolleys or dirty people's backs. You can just lift it off with a little crane. I think that's it. And then it connects to the Queen City Manager. And then of course it connects to the Queen City Manager, which is a the online application. There's a mobile phone app for Android or iPhone, and there's also the website you can log in view, log in to, and that gives you all your reports and graphs of your bin cycle usage, your battery usage, and how that cycled over time on the on the charge level where it might be high and low, and of course. It, probably set it so it will let you know when the bin needs to be emptied when it gets to say 75 or 80 percent full so you then know on your, on your next day's run you need to go out there or if something's happened that's been very busy you can let you know if all of a sudden it that full capacity. That's great we can look at that in a separate session thanks very much David.